I'm trying to plant some trees and a goddamn solar eclipse decides to spawn on our butts again. Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Expert Mode playthrough. We are of course back and uh, we have some problems today my friends. We've got problems. I'm trying to go ahead and plant down some trees in the hallowed biome and the game is just like, nope. So despite us only taking down one mechanical boss so far, we're still getting a bunch of solar eclipses, which is kind of cool, but also not cool at the same time. I'm just trying to think, can I get any weapons from this? Because obviously we can't get Mothron and we can't get the Reapers just yet. I'm just trying to think if I can or not. I think it is just the accessories, isn't it? Yeah. Well, god diggity damn. I think, once again, there's going to be a whole bunch of deaths in this episode. But, I would like to switch up my, uh, my thing, my strategy. I actually want to try and make myself the Mega Shark. I want to try my hand at, uh, taking down the bosses again, because it really is just a case of, if I can't take down the bosses, then, you know, we're going to be severely stuck. We won't be able to do a single thing, so we're going to be needing ourselves some decent ranged weapons. Obviously, I think ranged weapons is the way to go with the twins, it really is, so... Yeah, that's the thing. I'm already losing a bunch of gold. How fantastic is that, man? Hey, buddy. Hey, you're going to give me Neptune's shell, right? Uh, maybe not. Eh, me. Oh, wait. <gasps> oh, I've got an enchanted sundial. I can skip this entire thing. Fantastic. I forgot I had it, man. Oh, look at that little solar eclipse going by, man. What are you going to do? You lot are going to be buggering off soon. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. Oh, it's about damn time. It's about damn time. Wait, we could have done that before. I just realized that, man. Oh, God, hold on, hold on, hold on. This guy, this guy might wind up killing us and stuff. Uh, you're going to give me the ice spring, right? Yeah? Ice spring? Uh, meh. Maybe not. <laughs> hey, don't kill my dude. My little dude down there, he's cool. Wait, can I, uh... Oh, wait, the illegal gun parts are sold overnight, right? God damn it. If I was quick, I could have got it just then. Um, right, so then. The Mega Shark. We need ourselves some souls of might. Look at the amount of souls of might we have, man. That's pretty damn crazy. Alright, so we have souls of might. We need to get ourselves the Mini Shark. Do we have a Mini Shark? I have a feeling we might. I don't know, man. I can't remember if we managed to invest in a Mini Shark or not. In fact, you know what? I think I remember us investing in two. We wound up selling one, didn't we? Right, okay. So we've got the Mini Shark right there. We need to get ourselves also some things... You know, you know the things, the things, the things I tell you, the, the shark fins, that's what I'm wanting. Uh, so we've got 20 of those, fantastic. Alright, uh, is Mr. Guidey around here? Oh, Guidey. Guidey. Uh, oh, he's not even in the world. Well then, rip. Yeah. Ripperoni and pepperoni. Uh, do we have any cloth? Tattered cloth, I think it is. Is it in our generic chest? Just if we have some uh, tattered cloth, we might be able to force ourselves in. A, uh, a goblin invasion, and by doing that, we might be able to go and grab ourselves some uh, cool shadow flame weapons. Because I would not have mind having the shadow flame bow. Because I don't think we have it, do we? Shadow flame bow? Mm, no? No, we don't have it. Dang it! Well, that kind of sucks a bunch of donkey balls, doesn't it? Right, now then. I think during the day, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to make ourselves a whole crap ton of blooming buff potions. Because quite frankly, we need it, man. We dang well need it. All right, so we're going to get that. We're going to get that. Uh, we also need to grab ourselves some iron ore. Do we have iron ore? We have platinum ore. Okay, right there. I'm trying my best to look very, very carefully because I know I've missed these things out before. <laughs> it's it's something that does happen. And I'm not going to lie. I get kind of annoyed when it does happen. And I'm sure you guys get just as annoyed as well. All right, so here we go. Bottled water. And let's head up to here. And bada bing, bada boom. Wait, are we missing something? Oh, we're missing Daybloom. That's what we're missing. God diggity damn. We don't even have any, do we? Oh, there we go. There's a bunch down here. Fantastic. I forgot I planted these things. Yeah. We got 13 from that. Do we have ourselves a stealth of regrowth in this world? I've got a feeling we don't. But again, it would be kind of cool if we did. Yeah, we don't have a staff of regrowth. The only reason why I want a staff of regrowth is, you get, is because you get increased yield from these uh, plant boxes. Um, and I think that's kind of awesome. So, it, oh, that was a bit. Here we go. Got ourselves regen potions. Hell yeah. Got ourselves iron skin potions. Hell yeah. Oh, man. 
This is awesome. All right, uh, and what else do we have? Do we have a? We should have a bunch of fishing stuff which we can use for uh, for you know the stuff. The stuff I tell you, the stuff. So if we get the princess fish out, we're gonna get ourselves I don't know prismite. I don't know if that's useful for anything. Uh, what else have we got? Specular fish. I know that's used for TP potions. We've got the armored cave fish. We've got the ebon koi. You know, I don't even know what most of these things do. So I think I'm gonna have to do a bit of a research session and see what goes on. Holy crap, guys! Check it out. I can make some life force potions. Increases maximum life by 20%, and it requires the prismite. Nice. That is gonna be sweet. So I need to fish out some more prismite from somewhere. I need to get myself a bunch more potion accessories or potion stuffs. Uh, what have we got? Wrath potion. Increases damage by 10%. Wow. Uh, endurance potion. Uh, reduces damage taken by 10%. Oh, man. We're getting some cool ass stuff here. There we go. Oh, wow. Some of these potions I don't think I've ever made before, man. I think these three potions right here, these are going to be freaking awesome. All right. <laughs> Throw this to make someone fall in love. There's a love potion. Are you for real right now? I, I think that's kind of tacky. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. All right, let's go ahead and put stuff away. I think we've got everything that we need on us right now. And, uh, yeah, we need to try and grab ourselves some good old uh, some stuff, I tell you. Some stuff. Because, you know, stuff is good. Stuff is very good. All right, let's put this stuff in here. There we go. Bottled water, all of this stuff can go in here. There we go. All the potion stuffs. Uh, and the acorns, of course. Oh, yeah, that's right. I need to plant down the rest of the acorns because I didn't really get to do that. Because, you know, we got interrupted by a goddamn solar eclipse. But I'm glad that we managed to completely avoid it because I've got to be honest, I completely forgot I had the enchanted sundial. So, yeah. That's kind of cool. I'm just going to randomly place these down. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. That should pretty much do the job. Sweet! And now we should have ourselves a little sort of hallowed forest going. There's already a bunch of hallowed dudes spawning here. That's kind of awesome. Alright, now obviously uh, using crystal bullets will be a good idea because obviously the crystals sort of shatter upon impact and you can get yourself a whole bunch of cool stuff from doing that. So I imagine that's going to do quite a lot of damage per second. So yeah, I'm just trying to think of what I could be doing in the meantime though. Maybe I could be doing some soul farming because obviously 7.30pm onwards is the time we need. So, yeah. So, yeah, we're going to need to grab ourselves some souls of light. Yeah, souls of light, lenses. Yeah, okay, cool. We we have our objective, basically. We're going to be heading down. We are going to be going ahead and grabbing ourselves a whole bunch of awesome stuff in the form of souls. And then hopefully we can come back, give ourselves uh, another ruddy good shot of the twins. Hopefully we'll be able to take them down. Because if not, then again... We're going to be having some serious problems in terms of progression in this series. So, yeah. I, th I feel like we should be able to do it, basically, is the point I'm trying to make. Because I've taken them down many, many times before using the Mega Shark with uh, with those kind of bullets. So, yeah. I feel like we should be able to do it. So, let's go down to the Hallowed section of the world. And let's see if we can't grab ourselves a bunch of souls before heading back up and then making ourselves a summoner again. I'll be back in a minute, my friends. Well, if this isn't cheesing a hallowed mimic fight, I don't know what is. <laughs> oh, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, the Daedalus Stormbow on our first attempt in this episode has now been obtained. Awesome. And just in time, pretty much. So let's head back, shall we? We've got some things to do, friendos. Look at all the souls we have right now. Uh, let's uh, pretty much just quick stack everything. I will still be making the uh, the the thing, the Mega Shark. I still want to see how it does. Um, but whether we're actually going to use it or not is a different matter. So, yeah. Uh, let's put these little babies down. There we go. Let's grab out the Mega Shark again. because Well, Mini Shark again because apparently it got quick stacked somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where. Uh, Mini Shark? Where do you go, man? It got quick stack somewhere, and I have no idea where. Well, rip and stuff. Oh, wait, is it there? Why is it there, man? Oh, because the other one's in there. Ah, okie dokie. All right, let's grab ourselves out some uh, some bars. I'm pretty sure the bars are actually over in this direction. There we go. So we've got iron bars. We've got ourselves the lenses. And I believe that's enough. So, yeah, heading up here, making an eye. Do you know what? We're going to make two of them just for the hell of it. Just because, uh, you know, just as a precautionary, just-in-case kind of dealio. So, yeah. 
Alright, so we have the Daedalus Stormbow, so that's looking good. Whether it will be enough with the Cursed Arrows is a different matter. I wouldn't mind trying to reforge it, actually. Uh, so here's what's going to happen. We're going to go over to you, buddy. Got ourselves over with Platinum. Uh, Deadly, that's a very nice start. I'm going to be keeping that for sure. Uh, what's the time looking like? We are almost there, my friends. I just need to buy the illegal gun parts from the gunsmith or the arms dealer. I'll call him the gunsmith. I have no idea why. Alright, we've got like 10 seconds and then we can make ourselves the Mega Sharks as a uh, sort of secondary thing. A thing of thingy thing things. Yes, that. Alright, we need to grab ourselves out some crystal shards really quick. So, a little bit of that. I believe that's all I need as well. And then I just need to buy myself some bullets and such. So, here we go. Let's buy some of these. And now I should be able to make the Mega Shark. Bada bing, bada boom. It's a default one. So, if we can grab ourselves a good reforge on it perhaps. That'd be awesome. Uh, godly. Very nice. I would definitely be taking that. That is very, very nice indeed. Not bad for first reforge right there, friendos. Alright, and let's go in here really quick. Here we go. We're going to buy ourselves two stacks of these little buddies. There we go. And then, of course, that just leaves us with going up here and making ourselves some crystal bullets. Ah, oh, freaking yeah. This is going to be awesome. Wait, apparently we've got more bullets somewhere else. Eh. Meh. Alright, uh, you can go away. I'm going to chuck you away as well. And we are going to... We're going to give this thing a really good shot, my friends. We've got all of these buffs now as well. I don't see a reason why we shouldn't be able to take him down. But obviously, maybe I shouldn't be saying that until I've actually defeated him. You know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> right, so you go in there. And uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm nervous for this one because if we don't manage to do it, then uh, we are in some serious, serious trouble. So... Yeah, I mean, we're basically just going to go back and forth and try and kick these guys as ass. So, buff. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We're going to try and take him down with crystal bullets. Oh my god, this is doing a fairly amount of nice damage. Wow, this really is doing a nice amount of damage, man. You're seeing the damage we're doing against the Blooming Green Eye right now? He's at 20k health already. Okay, uh, he doesn't appear to do damage underground. That's kind of interesting. Alright, here we go. He's going to turn to second form fairly soon. So we will need to be very, very wary of that. Oh, we have 490 health to our name? That's as a result of the life force potion, obviously. That's kind of awesome. Okay. Alright, man, this mega shark might be enough. Here we go. Oh, man, the damage is so real. This is why the Mega Shark is king. Even these days, back in the day, the Mega Shark was the bomb. But even nowadays, it's still bloody good. Ow. Let's just be careful, though. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves, shall we? All right. I don't know why I wasn't using the Mega Shark in the first place, to be honest, man. I mean, it's pretty easily craftable. Wait, did I take... I think I killed him. I think I did it. I think the green eye's now down. So we now didn't... We just need to focus this guy down there. Oh, man. I feel like this might be a day where we take down the twins twice over. Just as a sort of revenge. How dare you kill me so many times kind of dealio. There we go. Are you seeing the amount of damage? That's brilliant. Oh, wow. His, uh, his lasers do a fair amount of damage, actually. Ow. Uh, let's be careful. Keep it going. We are approaching death, and boom! There he goes, he is dead, my friends. The twins at long freaking last, ladies and gentlemen. They're bloody dead! <laughs> good, 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 good. Today's a good day. All right, I think I might be able to go ahead and get away with this, uh, with doing it again, if we just use our health really quick. Oh, man. All right, my friends, should we try using the Daedalus Stormbow this time? Let's go for it. Now, where are they coming from? This side? Alright, here we go. I don't know if this is a good idea or not, to be honest. Alright. We're just giving it a go, though. Giving it a go, buddy. Alright, well, at least they're getting venomized. That's kind of cool. This is definitely not doing as much damage, I feel. Yeah, I think I might just use this thing. It's a safe old bet, isn't it? You know, it's, it's just a safety net, isn't it? I could just take him down real easy. I gotta say, man, the Mega Shark is uh, is really shone through for me today. I'm actually kind of surprised. I need to try and swap sides. It is what I need to try and do. Can I try and swap sides, please, man? 
Oh, he's already blooming switched over. There we go. Okay. What we gotta do is keep ourselves nice and safe. Oh, here he goes. Here he goes. Here we go. If we just zigzag this joint, we should be okay. Ah, there we go. Not bad. Not bad, man. Not bad. Keep it going. Green eyes almost down. Ow. Ooh, that was close, actually. Is he dead yet? Green eyes dead. There we go. Now we just got to focus down this fool. All right, let's get rid of the map, shall we? Actually, no, that's a bad idea. I want to be able to see where he is at all times. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, just trying to swap sides with him. There we go. Where's he gone? He's blooming buggered off somewhere. Has he gone to have like a cup of tea or something? I mean, that is a pretty good way of calming yourself down, but you know what? It's probably not a good idea considering we're in the middle of a goddamn battle. You know what I'm saying right now? You know what I'm saying right now? You know, having a cup of tea right now, oh, while it's so very nice to do, it's probably not the best idea. So, you know, why don't you just go and bugger off and stuff. There we go. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was pretty damn nice. We got ourselves a retinizer trophy. Retinizer trophy? Retinizer trophy? I don't even know how it's properly pronounced. Wait, did the souls get dropped up there or are they from the treasure bag? All right, man. Question is, did we get the other trophy? Uh, I got a feeling we didn't, but who knows? It might be laying around somewhere where we killed him. Uh, I don't know, man. Honestly, don't know. Come on, man. Who knows? Who knows? It could be there somewhere. It could be there. It would be on the ground, right? Uh, yeah. Oh! Oh, we did drop it! <laughs> we got both of them! Brilliant! Oh, my God! That's fantastic! I was not expecting that. I was just like, eh, I was just about to give up hope on the, trying to find the other trophy. But apparently, we actually did get it. What the hell? Man, today... Today, my friends, is a good day. You know how most days on this series don't seem to be good days? This is a good day. This is a good, 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 good day. You're going to go in this thing right here. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, my God. We actually did it, my friends. I'm very, very happy as a direct result of that. We've got ourselves a bunch of greater healing potions. And we have two treasure bags. So, bada bing, bada boom. Oh, you do get the souls from it. Okay. Uh, 29 hallowed bars and 27 souls of sight. And we've got a Twins Mask, and we've got another 21 Hallowed Bars, and another quite a lot of Souls of Sight. So now we've got 60 of these damn things. So, what that means, if we have ourselves a Black Lens, which we do, and we have some regular lenses, which again, we do, we should be able to make ourselves the Twin Staff. There we go, the Optic Staff, bada bing, bada boom. Adept. Uh, I want to get some damage on this, actually. Because that'd be kind of cool. It'd be a nice upgrade from our fat imp dudes. So that's pretty damn awesome. Boom. Masterful. Very, very nice. Today is a day of good luck everywhere. I'm happy with this, man. There we go. The optic staff has been created, my friends. It is a 11 damage increase on the thing. So we're going to go and get these little babies out. There you go. And we're going to put away the old weapons. My voice is getting a bit croaky, isn't it? <laughs> God damn. Alright guys, I think on that awesome note, it is time to end the episode. I would like to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, and of course you're excited to see more, be sure to drop a like rating. And of course you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But ladies and gentlemen, we finally did it. We took down the twins, and the next thing we have to do is take down the good old Skeletron Prime duty. I'm not looking forward to that one, my friends. <laughs> I don't know what his expert mode attacks are, if any, so... Yeah, we'll have to find out in the next episode, won't we? But yes, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your continued support despite my raging in previous episodes. And I do appreciate it. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.